While New Orleans is one of the most iconic historic cities in the state of Louisiana, St. Bernard Parish is New Orleans' most historic neighbor. Settled more than 200 years ago by French planters, Spanish colonists, and a mix of other unique cultures, St. Bernard has always played a crucial role in the shaping of New Orleans and continues to do so today. This is St. Bernard Parish, New Orleans' historical neighbor, but a place rich in its own history and traditions. A place of safe communities and good schools. A place of family and festivals, food, fishing, and fun. Some people call it the parish. Me, I just call it home. But whether you live here or just visiting, it'll make you feel at home. By preserving the strong heritage of its people, St. Bernard Parish preserves an important part of the historic essence of New Orleans. As swampy buffer to the city during the Battle of New Orleans and a prime location for country estates, it was central to early colonization. The historic old Araby neighborhood districts are often the first stop for guests. The dense streetscape is lined with architectural styles such as Eastlake, Italianate, Edwardian, and Craftsman. It is typical of 19th century New Orleans, and for good reason, as the first several blocks were considered part of the city until it was annexed by St. Bernard in the late 1800s. The Sugar Museum occupies the site of the area's former jail and courthouse. The building is over 100 years old, but thanks to the curators from Southern Food and Beverage Museum, the displays and artifacts there give it new life. Maps, photographs, and a historical timeline of the sugarcane industry are all part of this exhibit. Come learn all about where those sweet secret ingredients and all of your favorite treats and dishes come from and how they are made. The Sugar Museum is a brand new mecca for anyone interested in sugar production and a sweet stop on your tour of historic Araby. Hi, and welcome to 40 Arpent Brewing Company, St. Bernard's first and only brewery. I'm Michael, co-owner and brewer, and I'd like to invite you to come here every Friday between the hours of 5 and 7 for a sample of some of the greatest beer that you can find around. Just beyond the Araby community is the Chalmette Battlefield where the Battle of New Orleans was fought at the end of the War of 1812. The grounds reveal a bold and gritty engagement between American General Andrew Jackson and his British counterpart, General Edward Pakenham. It's no surprise that St. Bernard Parish was the front line in the protection of the beloved New Orleans. I'm standing in the spot here where a British army was repelled by the American forces in January of 1815. There's a lot to see and do here today. There is an obelisk, a monument. You can climb to the top of the steps and see a panoramic view of the surrounding area. Inside that is a visitor center. Inside there, you'll see films and dynamic exhibits, light up maps and the uniforms and the actual artifacts, the muskets and bayonets held by the soldiers here. You can step outside from there and uh, have lunch in the shade of 200-year-old live oak tree. As a community that values recreation, St. Bernard Parish features several parks and recreational opportunities for kids of all ages. Torres Park, nearly 20 acres with playgrounds, pavilions, and paddle boats, is one of the best places to bring the family and picnic. The 33-acre Valrie Sports Complex is a new facility featuring eight ball fields, batting cages, amenities for travel teams, and an indoor facility available for a range of sport competitions. The main sports complex is complemented by seven other parks and gym facilities and draws travel teams from across the state. St. Bernard Valerie's complex offers youth and high school baseball slash softball fields. Our multi-purpose building is designed to host a variety of events. We host over 40 tournaments a year, including two state tournaments. Following the east bank of the Mississippi River, the San Bernardo Scenic Byway continues its journey coursing past the brick ruins of the Deleron Plantation, between fields of pecans and magnolias, and through a majestic tunnel of oaks on its way to the original settlements of the parish. Cargo and cruise ships are often seen rolling along the river on their way to the Gulf of Mexico. This is Dockville Farm, located on the scenic byways in St. Bernard Parish, one of the many great places to see in St. Bernard Parish. Here at Dockville Farm, we have 132 acres that's been designated for community and educational purposes. We host a myriad of events here, including Blues in the Parish Festival, Art in April, and the Calling at Home Festival. Not all guests to New Orleans spend their nights living large in the French Quarter. The St. Bernard State Park is a quiet gem on the Mississippi Flyway Route, with a network of trails through several habitat types, 
It's the perfect location for spotting migratory birds and other waterfowl that stop over for a rest and meal before continuing their trip south. This state park is right in the middle of the Mississippi Flyway, which is the greatest bird migratory route on the North American continent. Not only do waterfowl overwinter here, but also neotropical migrants, which are so beautiful, including the bunting and warblers and all other birds of that sort, can be seen right here in this park as they move from this continent, North America, to Central and South America and return. The Bayou Terrebuff was the focal point for the earliest settlements of the parish and the location for the first courthouse. Over the years, the historic Beauregard Courthouse has been home to three different courthouses, a school, and now a community facility. The St. Bernard Parish Historic Courthouse is one of the most beautiful buildings in the greater New Orleans area. The historic courthouse second floor is available for weddings, receptions, and other special events. New Orleans is often considered a French city, when in fact, it was Spanish for almost half its colonial history, during which time, colonists from the Canary Islands settled the marshes and wetlands of St. Bernard Parish, cultivating sugarcane plantations, fishing, fur trapping, and growing vegetables for the city. Today, the Los Islenos Museum Complex is dedicated to preserving and interpreting the heritage and traditions of the Islenos. I know all of you have heard of the Acadians, the Cajuns, but how many of you have heard of the Islenos? Come and visit our Isleno Museum Complex, where we have two beautiful historic museums. Stroll down our village lane and be taken back in time. Walk our nature trail and experience the beauty of the flora of Louisiana. Much like the city of New Orleans, the communities of St. Bernard were united in their Catholic faith. The St. Bernard Catholic Church was the first church established downriver from New Orleans in the Mississippi River Corridor, built facing its historic 1780 cemetery across the Bayou Terrebuff. The fishing and fur trapping of the Islenos thrived due to the sweetwater marshes a mix of salt water from the Gulf of Mexico with the fresh water of the Mississippi River, its bayous, and small lakes. Just minutes from the French Quarter, recreational and commercial fishermen alike catch some of the best seafood in the world, including redfish, drum, speckled trout, shrimp, crabs, and oysters. St. Bernard is over 225 years old. It has the best seafood to offer in the world, and our recreational fishing is just phenomenal. When you come down to St. Bernard Parish, you're in God's country. You know, we have probably 35 or 40 of the best charter captains that money could buy. Take you out for a day, take you fishing, take your family fishing, something that you'll never forget. You get your shrimp, you can get your crabs, you can get your oysters. We're bought none the best in the world. You can't go anywhere and find fishing as good as it is here. I love this parish. I'm born and raised in it and I'm gonna die in it. Abundant seafood is at the core of the St. Bernard culinary experience. From authentic Sicilian served in generous portions to Creole and Cajun specialties featuring local caught seafood, it rivals the celebrity of New Orleans restaurants. Pull up a seat to a table of classic home cooking based on special family recipes or settle in for fine dining creations found only in St. Bernard. From battlefields and bayous to menus and marshes, St. Bernard is a prime destination for adventure in Southeast Louisiana. Our people are very welcoming. They are delighted to receive guests from Spain, Europe, and the world over. They are very proud of their identity and they share that identity happily with all those who come to visit this community.